Welcome back to Kettle Talk. I'm joined by Redshirt Junior out of Oregon, AJ Balta. And AJ, I've got to ask you a two-parter. Do you have Phil Knight's phone number, and can you give it to me? Uh, no, I do not have Phil Knight's phone number, but I have shook his hand in our dugout once or twice. What's that experience like? Have you been to the Nike house? I haven't, but uh, you know his presence is felt throughout the university. <laughs> I mean, everything you see is he's really helped with a lot of stuff, and when you see him in person, it's it's a sight to see. Let's talk about you this year. You're coming back off an injury, missed the entire year last year. How much did it take a toll on you mentally just to miss all of that time? You know, uh, mentally is actually, I think it was a good thing for me. I sat on the bench and watched the team, watched the game. Uh, really learned a lot from the coaches, you know, sitting next to them in the dugout, watching them call pitches and call plays. Uh, I think I learned a lot just from watching the game and taking that year off. Obviously, this isn't your first year in travel ball. You played in SoCal. But coming over to the Cape can be intimidating. Is it a lot easier having teammate Tim Cisnera here to kind of ease you into the day-to-day -day grind of the Cape? Yeah, I mean, you know, having Tim here is great. Um, He's a year younger than me, so we kind of learn from each other. He learns from me. I learn from him. You know, uh, he plays a different position, so we talk about different aspects of the game, things that he sees that maybe I don't, things that I see that maybe he doesn't. And, uh, both left-handed bats, so we can talk about things together, and it's, uh, it's good to have a guy here like that. At Oregon, and even here, you've played the corners of the infield. You've played the corners of the outfield. How does your preparation change going from infield to outfield interchangeably? Uh, it's just a different glove. Infield goes a little bit smaller, but I mean, um, outfield is more uh, maybe, I don't know, going back and forth, infield side to side, just kind of getting your legs used to what you're going to be doing maybe during BP, live reads off the bat, and just getting ready mentally. What was your natural position growing up? Second base. So what's that like the first time you're out in the outfield playing at a higher level, and how was that presented to you? Well, growing up, my dad made me play second base, outfield, so I've been, uh, I've been pretty happy with both. Anytime I can get playing time, just go out there and do what I normally do. What went into the decision to go to Oregon? You know, everything. I mean, the coaches are great. Uh, close close to family, maybe just to drive away. Uh, money was great, and I think they got a great program going. Let's talk about the Balta family. You've got some good lineage on the softball side. Your sister Tori played at Yale. Did you face her growing up in the backyard or anything like that? Yeah, it'd be a constant competitive battle, you know, sibling on sibling. But, uh, yeah, she had definitely some different aspects. She got into Yale. She had the brains. Uh, definitely some athleticism, though, too. It was always a competition. She wasn't that bad of a pitcher, so I've got to ask, you're, you're in the backyard. Was she pitching from 60 feet 6 inches or the softball regulation? How did that go? No, she couldn't hang. <laughs> No, she was. Uh, no, we'd always play wiffle ball, go out, work out with pops, and uh, he'd always have to bring the softballs and the baseballs. So I have to stick around and watch her hit, and you know, we just kind of traded off times doing that. What's the one? What's one of the biggest things that you want to get out of the Cape Experience this summer? Just uh, some more live at bats. Some I want to work some at second base. Maybe go play some second base at the University of Oregon. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm meeting a lot of guys here, a lot of uh, connections, just seeing, meeting new people, and. I just want to get some, some more experience. Awesome, AJ. Thanks for the time. Lineup's coming up right after this.